Hi, this is a bit of an unusual video, not the sort of video that I would normally do, um, but I thought I would do this video right now um, because of certain circumstances that are affecting um, what I'm going to do with my day today. So let me just make it clear to you at the beginning of this video that I absolutely deplore Gambling. I am the most anti-gambling person that you will ever meet in your life. So it's a bit unusual for me to be making a video about this. Um, but I remember the first day that um, the very first national lottery, I believe it was sometime in like November 1994. And it was a big event. There were actually national lot in London anyway, there were national lottery parties in pubs. And I went to a pub in central London with some friends, about 10 of us, and we all bought lottery tickets. We all bought like probably one line and we were convinced that at least one of us would win the lottery and not one of us won the lottery. <clears throat> Go If you move forward a few years later, one of us actually did win the lottery. One of those friends um, who will remain nameless actually won 8 million on the lottery. He continued to do the numbers that we were doing at the time and he ended up being the lucky one and I was very pleased for him. I'm still pleased for him to this day. I believe he is still um, looking after that money very well. He's one of the success stories from the National Lottery. And part of me, I mean, I, I, I was torn when the lottery came out because part of me was against gambling and thought that this would lead to um the sort of um destruction of our our british society because people would just be wasting their money on the lottery and to a certain extent it has been it has led to a lot more people being in debt and getting and it's like you know the 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 um introduction to gambling for a lot of people just like some drugs are introduction to hardcore drugs well the national lottery is probably in some ways an introduction especially the scratch cards, they're probably an introduction to um, hardcore gambling. So for that reason, I, I'm very much against it. And I do remember when the lottery first started, I went into a post office the following Monday. I went into a post office in uh, Archway, just next to Archway Station in uh, North London. And spread, I mean, you could not see the floor. I think it was a carpeted post office. And you could not see whatever surface they had on the floor because the whole floor was littered with scratch cards. So literally, everyone had spent their money, or everyone who'd been in there probably spent their money on scratch cards. And I thought, this is going to be a big problem in this country. Um <clears throat> I don't think how much, I don't know how much research has gone into how many people have gone into debt over the national lottery, but um, some people say yeah it does contribute to good causes yeah but it also causes a lot of harm to a lot of people, and then they've made it even more difficult for people to win the lottery by increasing the numbers, the range of numbers that you can pick, so you know the odds are even greater against you winning the lottery. But this video is about putting that whole system in your favour and beating the lottery system. Okay? Now, I'm not pretending that I've won a massive amount on the lottery, but I ha over the last year or so, I have won decent amounts of money on, on the lottery by playing a certain system on the lottery. So... What you've got to understand with me and the National Lottery is I have four lines. So I do four lines. If I normally, if I'm going to do the lottery, the most I'll do is four lines. So that's like eight or eight pounds on the National Lottery. I do not do the Euro Millions. The Euro Millions is an absolute, the biggest waste of money of all time. The, the odds are even greater against you winning the Euro Millions. And it obviously costs more money um, to win probably substantially less. 
him. And, you know, obviously the jackpot is ridiculous. So it goes up to, and I, I was a fool for many years thinking that, yeah, you know, when he gets up to 100 million, God, you've got to go for it. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, your odds are still really, really low um, of actually winning uh, the Euro Millions. Whereas um, the National Lottery is still, you know, the odds, if you play a system, the odds are quite high that you'll win something. So this video is about winning something, not about winning the whole lottery jackpot, but winning something. So let me start, say about maybe 14 months ago, about 14 months ago, I saw an article in the newspaper. Um, yeah, I do occasionally pick up the newspaper. And it said that um, some mathematician in the UK had worked out a system that guaranteed you winning the lottery. All you had to do was play 27 lines and you would win. Now, it didn't mean you'd win the jackpot, it just meant you'd win something. And so he was convinced that these 27 lines will incorporate all the numbers and all the combinations that you need to guarantee winning at least a lucky dip. So let me just be clear, it guarantees that you'll win at least a lucky dip. And I decided, well, I looked at the numbers and I, I, I'm a bit of, well, when I was a kid, I was considered a bit of a maths genius. And I love messing with numbers. I'm very into numbers. I'm into Rubik's Cubes and anything like, you know, I've even got a Rubik's, I've got a Rubik's Cube in every room in my house. And I'm constantly doing the Rubik's Cube and constantly, some, when I've got time, I work out like complicated maths puzzles and things like that. And I got my kids into maths puzzles. I used to do Countdown every day. I used to watch Countdown every day. And I was particularly good at the numbers problem on, on Countdown. I'd probably get it right 99% of the time, quicker than the contestants on the show. And I was tempted to do Countdown and as a contestant. And then I did get selected to do 8 out of 10 cats do Countdown, which was completely different um, as a result of my acting work. And that's another story that I might do in an, another video. Long story, that one. But anyway, I love my numbers. So I thought, let me try and work out a system that's cheaper than doing... Because 27 lines, you're looking at £54. So to play £54 for every draw is crazy. Absolutely crazy for, like, the average person. So you're spending, like, you know, £100 a week, I think. Is it twice a week the lottery draw is? I think it's Wednesday and Saturday. So it's £108 a week it will cost you to play this system... And to be honest with you, even if you play this system, you probably wouldn't win the jackpot. You would just win every so often, maybe five pounds, maybe 30 pounds, maybe a hundred pounds, but you wouldn't probably win the jackpot. So it, it would be crazy to try this system. So I thought, let me come up with another system to using what they've done so far to work out a new system. And what I worked out was a system of, um, let me get it right, instead of 30, um, 27 lines, is a system of uh, six, well, 16 lines, call it 15 lines, a system of 15 lines that almost guarantees that you'll win on every draw, almost guarantees. So with my system, so it costs you £30 instead of £54. So that's immediately what saves you about £48 a week. So you call that a £48 jackpot anyway. And you win on probably, I would say, um, out of 20 draws, you'll probably win 18 draws. So out of nine draws, out of 10 draws, you'll win nine draws probably. So you'll, out of 10 different lottery days, if you played my system, you would win something on nine of those days. So how, how the system works, how I worked it out, is I looked at the lottery draws. I looked, at, I looked at my numbers, first of all. So I have my four lines, which I've been doing since, well, at least the last 10, 15 years. I've been doing the same four lines, yeah? Now, I don't play every week. 
that's number one is I don't play every week. And I don't play every draw. I only play certain draws. So the only time with my system, the only time I ever play the lottery is when there is a must be one um, jackpot. If there's a must be one jackpot, so that means that it's rolled over so many times. And so now they're going to roll down all the different winning sequences. So instead of having to have six numbers, you can win the jackpot with five numbers. And each of the different levels of winnings um, kind of rolls down. So, you know, where you would normally win a lucky dip, you suddenly win five pounds instead and so on. So I wait until there's a roll down and then I play my system on the roll down uh, lottery day. And today is a roll down day. This Saturday isn't, a, well, it's not a roll down day. Sorry, let me get this right. Today is a must be one day. So that every so often the lottery also does special days where they increase the jackpot to like with the lotto about 15 million. So it might go from 2 million right up to 15 million so the previous one might have been two million. I don't know what the previous jackpot was, but it go, it, this week is the guaranteed winner of the 15 million. And so I look out for those particular draws and then I play my system. And what my system involves is I play my four numbers that I've always played. And then I look at those four numbers and I look at the sequences and I look at what numbers are missing from those four numbers? So then I take, I, I write down all the numbers that are missing from the sequence of my four draws. So in my four draws, you're looking at uh, 24 numbers. So then I look for, you know, because I think the lottery goes up to something like 50, if I'm correct. I'm not sure if, it's, if that's correct, but it goes up to something like 50. So I look to see, you know, what are the other numbers that are missing? So then I then make a whole load of new lines using all the missing numbers in in sequence. I then, what you can do with the National Lottery is you can actually um, add on, on the app, you can actually add save numbers. So I add all these numbers as save numbers. Once you've added them all as save numbers, then you look, what you do is you you then go to the results. Look at the results and see what weeks those numbers would have won. Would, would those numbers have won um, any lotteries? And then what you look out for are the weeks where those numbers wouldn't have won. And you look at what numbers, what, what, what were the winning numbers on the weeks where your numbers wouldn't have won and you use all those remaining, say you look at, say, um, say you look at sort of 16 weeks. So you look at 16 weeks of results or 16 draws, not 16 weeks, 16 draws. And look at the weeks where your numbers wouldn't have won. Take all the numbers, the winning or the winning numbers for the weeks you wouldn't have won, write them down. And then from those numbers that you, you've got all the different draws where you wouldn't have won, you then sort of scramble those numbers to make a new set of sequences of lottery draws for yourself. And then you add those on until you've got 15 lines. Then So then you add those 15 lines, all the saved lottery um, draws or lottery numbers for yourself. And then you go back and check the results again and see how many weeks. And what you'll find, guarantee this if you do it properly, is that you'll find long blocks of draws. Like I I think the longest block I went was about six months where every single draw I won. If I had played those numbers, I would have won every single week or every every single draw, so twice a week, for six months. Not six months. It probably wasn't six months, actually. That's not true. Because I think you can only go back six months. So it was probably like five months. So like there was probably like five months where every single draw I won And, you know, as a result of that, I realised I might have a system here. So then last year I started playing those numbers, but I only played them when there was a must-be-one lottery week. 
and on a few occasions I won around a hundred, just over a hundred pounds. Um, so so I'm I'm basically most weeks I would own or most draws when I played it, I would only stake thirty pounds. So I'd only do fifteen lines. So from that fifteen lines, I would win um, usually about a hundred pounds. Occasionally, I might win like maybe fifty, sixty pounds. More often than not, I'd win between five and thirty pounds, and occasionally I'd win a whole load of. Um, I'd always win lucky dips, loads of lucky dips. So some weeks, I remember one week I didn't win any money at all. I won four lucky dips, but then as a result of my lucky dips, the next draw I ended up winning about seventy pounds because I didn't have to pay anything for my lucky dips, you know, because they were free, free lucky dips. So. And I wasn't going to pay any money for the next draw because it wasn't a must be one. So I normally wouldn't have paid the next, played the next draw, but I ended up still winning um, money as a result of the lucky dips. And sometimes you just win a lucky dip or a few, four lucky dips sometimes or three or two lucky dips. And as a result of playing those lucky dips the next time, you and you've got no control over the lucky dips. So it's just automatically you're put in for the lucky dips. But then I've ended up winning more lucky dips which then results in like two draws along, I might win some money or I might win another lucky dip and, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like a, a, a money saving way of playing the lottery. And I th I mean, the way I've calculated it over the last year of trying this system, because what I did is I, I kind of um, w safely tested it. So I, I tested it without playing putting any money into the lottery at all. I just like put the, save the numbers and then I watched it for about four weeks to see what would happen, to see if that luck would continue where I would end up winning. And those consecutive four weeks of lottery draws, so that's eight draws, I end up winning every single time. So I thought, yeah, this system clearly works and it beats the system that was suggested in the newspaper. And... um as a result of that, I, I, I carried on playing and I, worked, I calculated that I probably I probably broken even or or made a little bit of money um, from playing my system. So, you know, no harm done, as they say. And it's nice sometimes, like a few weeks ago, I think it was about three or four weeks ago, because um, I hadn't played the lottery for about two months because there hadn't been a rollover for a while. And then I played it and I ended up winning like, might have been 80, 80 or 90 pounds. And yeah, it was it was quite useful. You know, it's nice to have that little extra money. I thought, oh, I'm going to go out and spoil myself and buy myself something because uh, the the system worked. So, you know, it's, it's really up to each individual whether they do it. And I'm not an advert for the National Lottery. As I said, I'm totally anti-gambling. But I think this is the most responsible way to do the national lottery. If there isn't, isn't a like quad, I think it's when it rolls over five times. So if, if the lottery hasn't rolled over five weeks in a, or five draws in a row, don't play it. Okay. That's my advice to you. Don't play it. But if your numbers come up and you, you know, you could have won the jackpot if you played it, don't blame me. I'm just, this is just my system. I'm telling you my system, you've got to play it your way. And you've got to go with your conscience. But I won't play it unless the lottery um, has at least five rollovers. So you've got a must be one jackpot that's rolling down. Then it's worth playing because the prizes potentially are higher for the win. Like if you get three numbers, because I think it's like three numbers or two numbers and a lucky dip and stuff like that, then it's more likely that you're going to... Um, you're going to win something. And I would also say that um, when it comes to uh, playing the lottery, that you, you just um, don't, don't I wouldn't advise anyone to play like every week at all. I, I would say that if you feel that you're addicted to playing the lottery, then seek, seek help. You know, don't just keep throwing your money away because very few people win the lottery. I know one person, I've got a lot of friends, I meet a lot of people all over the, you know, from my work, from 
um, my friends up north and my friends down south. And I only know one person ever who's won the lottery. And they won the lottery when it was easier to win. So they won the lottery like 20, no, would it be 20, 30 years ago, maybe. Nearly 30 years ago, they won the lottery. So since then, I've not known of anybody winning the big jackpot. Um, and I'm a believer in... You know, being the the one, the person who um, who values what they have. So I think you only value what you have if you've worked hard for it. And when you do the lottery, you're not really working hard for it. You know, even with using my system, that's not hard work coming up with a system like that. No, I, I prefer to actually go out there and graft um, for because because. You know, it just it just gives you a sense of um, purpose if you work hard for what you have. And I'm not saying, you know, totally sort of destroy your health to earn what you've got. But I'm just saying a reasonable amount of um, either physical or brain power that you use to earn what you own um, just makes life a bit more re rewarding. And, and gives you a sense of meaning to your life. So, as I said, I'm not an advocate for the lottery and I'm not, into, I'm not telling you to use my system. I'd be interested to hear any feedback on it. Um, as usual, please do subscribe. If you are not a subscriber, please like the video, share the video and feel free to leave comments below. Thank you.